All right, today, since I haven't done one yet, I'd like to do a video on the Silver King and the Oliver sitting in the shed. Just walking across the field from the house right now. You see part of the farm over the hill. And the dog saw me. Bunch of stuff over in here. There's an old truck. I don't know what type it is. I never got in to actually look at it. No flatbed. Most of it's gone, but some of it's still there. I always enjoy walking by. And the thing you see sticking out is a speedometer every time you walk by. And I always find that kind of cool to look at. All the transmission and everything else are still in there. I don't know if I can get. Yeah. Let's see if it. 90,000 90, miles. That's what it says. All right, here we are at the shed. The PTO generator. Yeah, it's a cardboard shredder, I believe. Yep, cardboard shredder. All right, here's the Oliver Super 77 diesel. Don't know what year it is. As far as I know, it used to run but for some reason when they went to move it because it was sitting instead of sitting this way it was sitting sideways and they went to try and start up moving it, it wouldn't start so I don't know it wouldn't turn over or something where the starters just stuck or possibly I've heard that sometimes the head gaskets would leak and it would let some water and stuff in on top of the piston and it would lock it up that way so I'm hoping that isn't the scenario. But it isn't too bad of shape and you could use tires. But for the rear tires you can't complain. It's fairly decent condition. Like I said before, there's not much rust on it. A little bit of rust on the tin and stuff you can see there, but surface rust. There's no real bad pitting or anything. Whoever had it must have kept it fairly decent shape. And it beat it up, looks like anyway. We're gonna run around the other side here and take a look at the Silver King. Silver King, I believe it's got the Hercules engine in it. Look at the manifold here. It's on the manifold. I know that. Yes, got the Hercules engine in it. I think. I'm pretty sure. That's what it says in the manifold. I'm pretty sure. But it's a Model 42. I believe it was rolled over at one time, but I'm not exactly sure. But from the way the headlight looks, being dented in and the muffler being broke over and the steering wheel being all bent up. I kind of assume that's what happened. Let me see if I can get in there and look. I'm pretty sure it's Hercules. Pretty sure that's what it says. Nope, this is Silver King, Model 42. I thought it said Hercules on the manifold, but apparently not. Okay. I've been wrong before. This could use a little work, but it did run when they parked it. Don't ask me why they parked it, because I really don't know. I just know that they parked it, and it's been sitting here ever since. Well, I think it's cool, because it's got the, the brake here. You can um, use your foot. When you sit on a seat, you can use your foot for the brakes, or you can pull a lever. 
by hand and engage and disengage the brakes. It does the same thing as using the foot lever. PTO comes out from underneath the back of the seat here. Got the draw bar mounted down pretty well. As you can see the seat comes out pretty far in relation to the back of the track. There's the back of the wheel. And there's where the seat is. So it sits back pretty far. It could definitely could use some work, that's for sure. I'll have to come down later and take another video of it, but this is electric start. It's not a hand crank. If I get around front, I have to crawl over the tire here. If I crawl over here, I can get down in here. Ugh. There is no spot in the front for a hand crank. And if I do recall, the battery's still in it. Yep, battery's still in it. Oliver's got wheel weights. Can't figure out what type they are, but a Pat's John Deere A is the same type. Swinging draw bar. It's got the, I believe they call it Hydro Touch. Hydraulics, but I'm not sure. Not sure if it has power steering or not, I doubt it does. As far as I know, like I was told there's a transmission problem. About half the gears don't work. I don't know whether that's low range is out, high range is out, I'm not sure, I don't know. But there they be. A little rough, but I think with a little work they'll clean up, possibly get running, but you never know. You never know, just have to put the time into them. Alrighty, well, we will color it for today.